Hey YouTube Opinionated Reviewer here with eAppleNews.com Bringing you guys a review of Smart Alarm Pro Clock and Weather Plus If I remember correctly it's in the App Store for 99 cents and it's by GRSoft Labs So we're going to just go ahead and jump right into the app And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn off my lights here Because... It's the, the app itself is so dark that you're not really gonna see it. All you're gonna see is the reflection of my camera. So I hope that's a lot better for you guys. And this this um, alarm clock has a lot of customization, which we're gonna go through. You guys can see I have my location set up there. It has the date. It also has my weather in my location. And down here you have a big old clock with the days on the bottom and the time right there. So we're gonna go ahead and show. I'm gonna show you guys how you can configure all this while we're while we run through the app so let me just go ahead and talk about setting alarms because definitely if you have an alarm clock or alarm app that's the main thing and setting alarm is super easy so you guys see I already had an alarm set right here to set a new alarm you just go ahead and you just go and you hit add alarm and you enable the alarm here, you can enable or disable it. You're gonna set the clock. It's in 24 hours out here, but inside here it's in um, what you call 12 hour. I love 12 hour, I hate 24 hour. I can't tell time in 24 hour, it takes too long. So I'm gonna just go ahead and set this alarm for let's say 7.30 and um, p.m. just for fun and I'm gonna go ahead and then you hit back, you see it's set. Um, right here I'm gonna go, you can put if you want it to repeat every day, like your everyday alarm, you could go ahead and configure that. Here you have sound, and you could go ahead and use your music from your app, for the music that you have on your iPad. So I'm going to go ahead and just select something here. This. And then you just hit done when you finish selecting your song. You can see my song is right there. So it's actually playing. And I'm going to change that for copyright purposes. You can go ahead and also name the alarm if you want to go ahead and name it. And you have a little bit more advanced settings right here. You can snooze it after two minutes. You can um, fade in and fade out. I really don't like fading in. If it's an alarm, I want it to come blazing out. You can turn up the volume of the app itself in here. And you can put on vibrate if you want. And just go ahead and save this as default if you always want this to be the configuration for every alarm. So you won't have to keep on going through all of that. So that's basically how you set your alarm. It's super easy like that. And now we're, then you make sure you hit save though. I almost forgot to say, make sure you hit save. So you see this is on. If I want to go ahead and put this one back on, I can just come in, put it on, hit save. Simple as that. Now we're going to go ahead and just talk about the customization for the app itself. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to settings right here. And here you have the clock style. So you guys saw in the beginning I had red LEDs. I'm going to just go ahead and change it to blue and then go over to the home. And you guys can see right here it's blue. Let me just get this rotation back in. There you go. Not sure how well you could see that because of the fact of the... the um light and stuff but it's definitely blue trust me on that <laughs> it's definitely blue. you can see the weather actually telling me what it is current and what it should be like and we're gonna go back into settings to check out a lot more of the settings right here so we can go ahead and change the number of different colors you can show the seconds if you want to you can show the weekday show the um, next alarm if you want to you have the 24 hour time which I'm gonna turn that off I hate that you can set your location you can enter it manually or you could just go ahead and hit current location and then hit set just go back here we have the city name show the city name if you want to show the city name if you don't want to you have units whether you want it to be Celsius Fahrenheit and you also have the intelligent alarm where you could go ahead and configure your intelligent alarm in here so we're gonna go ahead and turn that off I just like the normal alarm you also have swipe slide finger gestures uh, I guess that's up or down I didn't really test them out you can also shake your device to turn on the flashlight, but this is the iPad, um, the new iPad doesn't have a flashlight, that's whether you're going to be on an iPhone 4S or iPhone 4, you'll be able to use that feature when you just shake to turn it on if you have it enabled. Down here you have miscellaneous, you want background alarm, you want to change your language, if you want your device to auto lock when it's on battery, when it's plugged in. Hey, you want it? They also RSS feed, which I'm just gonna turn it on so you guys can see. You can go ahead and add your own RSS feed if you know the URL. Right now, it has Yahoo by default. And traffic is I'm gonna point. I'm gonna show you guys the traffic. But hey, you have to set your location for the traffic to show. 
down to the bottom it just has some extra stuff it has positive quotes I'm, i guess it's going to display positive quotes and also photo album if you want to go ahead and manage your photo album you could go ahead and add some photos from your camera roll so this camera has a lot of different stuff for an alarm clock so you have um down to the bottom is just suck this if you want to tip a friend give it five stars in the app store or if you want to go ahead and report a bug so that's basically all the features of this alarm clock or alarm app if you want to call it that so down to the bottom you guys can see since i enabled the rss feed you can see it has the rss feed for yahoo right down here at the bottom i could go ahead and just touch on it and it's going to open up you guys can see me here i could go right to yahoo and read the news super simple like that this will always get some i know though every time you come back out it's going to go back into um portrait mode even if you're in landscape mode that grinds my gears so much the last but not least down here you have this which is the traffic thing I was telling you guys about you see it says set the traffic location I don't have my location set for that so it's not gonna show but it's a nice nice little app for just 99 cents it's really an uh smart alarm if you want to go ahead and call it that that's the name anyhow so definitely check it out once again it's called smart alarm pro clock and weather plus it's in the App Store for 99 cents to my preference if you want to get it or not with that being said please rate comment subscribe have a nice day.